All right, precious brothers and sisters, it is April the 9th. It is a beautiful day. It is a glorious day. It is a wonderful, beautiful morning. I'm going to tell you, I'm here to preach to you today. I am on fire. I have caught on fire with the Holy Ghost, and I want you to catch on fire today. I want you to catch on fire. I want your soul to catch on fire with the Holy Ghost today. And this has been happening to me a lot lately. And I can't explain it, but I rejoice in it, and I cherish it, and I love it, and I want you on fire today. I'm going to bring you words of encouragement this day, this morning, this afternoon, this evening. Today and every day is the day that our Heavenly Father created and made and rejoiced in it and in Him. And to God be all the glory today. I am on fire with the Holy Spirit, and I want you on fire today. I don't want you discouraged. I want you encouraged. I don't want your focus and your attention on the wicked evil of this world. I want you to keep your eye on the prize today. Hallelujah. Can I get a hallelujah in the comment box? Hallelujah. All praise and all glory. To God be the glory today. Let's have some coffee. I'm going to preach at you, and I hope you don't mind. I hope you don't mind, but I want you to have this excitement. I want you on fire. I want you to feel the presence of the Holy Spirit around you. I don't know what's going to come out of my mouth in the next matter of minutes. However, I'm moved, and I am moved this morning. I woke up this morning, let me tell you, singing and dancing and giving praise to our Father in heaven, and I am just covered with the Holy Spirit. I went out after I sang and I danced. Can you imagine Pastor Dave in the house singing and dancing? I am going to sing right now in about two minutes. I'm going to jump up and I'm going to run around this table and come right back here in about another minute. I want you on fire with me. I want you to catch on fire with the Holy Ghost. After my singing and praising, giving him all the praise, I went out and got coffee, and it's almost gone. I've got a drop. I say to share with all of you. Let's have some coffee. Oh my goodness. Before we go any further, I want to thank you all for your prayers for my precious dear dear friend, close family friend Terry. Good news. God is good all the time. Not some of the time, not part time. He's not a part time God. He's an all time God. And He is good all of the time. Amen. I want to see an amen in the comment box right now. Hallelujah. I'm going to jump out of my chair. Amen. He is out of the woods, and the doctors say He is going to be fine. Praise Jesus, Yeshua. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And I want to thank you all for lifting my friend up in prayer. And praying in agreement and do you see how prayers are answered when you are sincere and you are sincere in your heart he answers our prayers we serve a mighty powerful glorious glorious wonderful wonderful God amen before we go any further in this video I want to lift you up the bride I want to lift you up today I want you to be on fire with the Holy Spirit let's get rid of the enemy. Let's get rid of the enemy. Let's bind all the demonic, uh, unclean spirits. Let's bind the enemy's eyes and ears this morning with a special prayer. Bow your heads, close your eyes, bow your hearts, bow your knees, and pray in agreement with me. Let us pray. In the name of the most holy, anointed Yeshua, Jesus of Nazareth, we bind all Satan's evil, wicked demons, lying, unclean, perverse, tormenting spirits and strongmen and messengers, their eyes blind, their ears deaf to our prayers, our conversations and actions in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. We bind them and command them not to manifest in our presence, the presence of anyone that we are around today the presence of anyone that we have prayed for today or in the presence of our homes, our cars, our trucks, our offices, our properties, buildings, businesses, ministries, marriages, finances, Heavenly Father, we ask you 
shut any doors that need to be shut and open any doors that need to be opened in the spiritual and in the natural realms of our lives. In Yeshua's holy name, Heavenly Father, I apply the blood of Jesus over those doorways and ask that the enemy be rendered powerless and harmless so they cannot come back through those doorways ever again to our homes, properties, cars, trucks, workplaces, businesses, finances, mines, ministries. And the enemy wants to get in your mind. He wants to pull you away. He wants to take you away, all your focus. He wants on what he's doing in this world, this wicked, evil world. He doesn't want your focus on Yeshua. He wants you looking in fear. He wants you to live a life of sickness, disease, and fear. He wants you to look at what's going on in the world today. We're going we're gonna to blind his eyes. We are going to blind his eyes and bind his eyes and bind his ears. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We are going to render him powerless and the enemy powerless against our minds, our ministries, our spouses, spouses, workplaces, our children, their schools, their workplaces, our, our friends and loved ones in the most holy name of Yeshua to God be all the glory forever and ever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I want you to encourage. I am on fire and I am going to preach to you. And whatever comes out of my mouth is going to be Holy Spirit led. There's a lot we are looking at in the world today. And everywhere you turn on YouTube, someone is reporting on a world or a current event as it's lining up with end time prophecy. And the imminent, imminent onslaught of the Great Tribulation. We're looking at this Pope now. Is he the last Pope, Francis I, and is he the biblical false prophet in the Antichrist? Many are looking at Barack Obama, and we are putting all our attention, all our focus on Barack Obama. Every video I see, Barack Obama is the Antichrist. Every video I see is Pope Francis I, is Peter the Roman, and the black Pope is possibly the Antichrist. We're having dreams, we're having nightmares, including myself. And I'm here to tell you, the nightmares are over with. I will not lose my focus. We need to watch. We need to be prepared. And I'm a watchman on the wall. I've been a watchman on the wall for a long time. Longer than 2011. A long, long time. Many people on YouTube have come. And they got up on that wall. They've climbed up and they've run across, to and fro, across that wall. Only in 2011 to come down. 2012, they come back up for a little bit. And they come back down again, but I've been on that wall and my feet are firmly planted and I have my trumpet, my shofar in my hand and I'm ready to sound the alarm and I'm watching and I'm running back and forth across that wall. Amen. But we're not to be consumed in what is taking place in the world and that's what's happening. All our attention, all our focus is on the things that are happening in the world. The conflict in North Korea and is there going to be a nuclear World War III and the satellite that is up now over the next seven days over the United States that North Korea sent up in December? North Korea now telling everyone to get out. Get out. All the diplomats, get out. And they shut down their plant. And we're looking at Comet Ison coming up in the fall. And everyone is getting consumed in the Antichrist and the Great Tribulation, but bright. That is the enemy wants to pull you, pull you and your focus away from the real prize. And that real prize is Yeshua, the bridegroom. You're taking your focus off of him. And it's all coming on the ways of the world and you need to get caught on fire. You need to be like the parable of the ten virgins. You want to be that bride, that church of Philadelphia. Let me tell you something, amen. Let me show you how. You need to be like the five wise virgins. You need to keep plenty of oil in your lamps. You need your lamps overflowing. And that oil in the lamps rep is represented by the Holy Spirit. That is the Holy Spirit. You need to be overflowing. Your lamps full and overflowing with that oil, with the Holy Spirit. You need to keep your eye 
on Yeshua and not on the ways of the world. You need to be a watchman. You need to watch so you're not caught off guard. But don't be consumed in what's going on in the world. Be consumed. Be consumed with Jesus. Be consumed with Yeshua. You need to fall in love madly, deeply, truly in love with Yeshua. Not in love with the ways of the world. Not in love with conflict, brother against brother, sister against sister. Damning one another for the way they believe. If they believe differently than you, you need to put on your whole armor of God and you need to forgive all who have wronged you. Someone threatened me just yesterday. They threatened me last night. My life for my belief in the pre-tribulation rapture. And I love them and I forgive them. Even though they may, I take the threat seriously. They, they want to do me harm. They want to kill me for my belief. When I think of Peter and John, when they healed the the man who was lame since he was in his mother's womb, and they laid hands on him and they healed him in Jesus' name, and they were put in prison. But who let him out? That angel, that messenger of God opened the cell door and told him, go out and preach in the middle of the street. And they did. And they were beaten severely. What happened after they were persecuted and beaten? They leaped and they jumped for joy. They were just so ecstatic, so happy that they were found worthy. That they were found worthy to take a beating for Jesus' namesake. And believe me, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. I have no fear. I don't have a spirit of fear. I want you to catch on fire. I want you to be overflowing with the Holy Spirit. I want you to keep all your attention. I want you to watch so you're not caught off guard. When we get reports coming out of North Korea and coming out of Israel and Iran and we're looking at the possibility of the Great Tribulation kicking off in full gear. But I want you to spend your energy not on that. Not consumed in that. I want you consumed, an effort-consuming, unquenchable fire of the Holy Ghost to come upon you and be consumed with Jesus, with Yeshua. I want you to fall madly, deeply in love with him. He's all you think about. You can't think about anything else as you're going around performing your daily duties. You're cleaning the house. You're cleaning the kitchen. You're doing the dishes. You're taking the dogs for a walk. You're vacuuming the carpet or cleaning up the bedroom. You're driving in your car on your way to work or taking the kids to a, a school event or you're in the grocery store. I want you to be consumed 24 hours a day, seven days a week, where all you think about is Yeshua. Nothing else. It's all that is on your mind. It's like when you meet the love of your life. I want Jesus to be the love of your life. I want you to be consumed in him, not in the ways of the world. I want you to understand. Be consumed with Yeshua. Be consumed with Jesus. It's like when you fall in love and that magic in the air and time stands still. What you think was a matter of only two or three minutes. It was hours. You've lost all track of time and you are consumed with him. I want you to understand these things must happen. These things that are taking place in the world, the prophecy must be fulfilled. These things must happen. Don't get caught up in them. Don't be consumed in that to where you take your focus and your attention off of him. Keep your eye on Yeshua because he's coming very quickly. And he's already won. And Satan has already lost. But when the saints go marching in, I'm going to be in that number. When the saints go marching in, if others want to go ahead and hate their neighbor, go ahead and cheat their friend, do it in the name of heaven. You're justified in the end. Because there won't be any trumpet blowing come that judgment day for you. Because on that bloody morning after, Yeshua walks away and we are going to run with him. When he runs and he takes his victory lap, on the Mount of Olives, hallelujah, we will be with him 10,000 strong. And I want you in that number. I could keep going. I love you. I'm out of time. I love you so much.